feels like forever since I have been in this room filming a YouTube video. Um, hi everybody. So I thought this actually feels like the proper kickoff for 2022. I got to get used to saying that number by the way. Who's still making mistakes? But I thought this would be a really good time just to talk about because it's like winter here now in New York. I mean, you wouldn't think so by what I'm wearing, but it is. It's so much colder now that this is such a good time to talk about all the pieces I can't wait to wear for the winter. Because I feel like we've all like ringed out completely everything from the fall. So this is proper cold winter time. So I want to just go in and um, just talk about the things in my wardrobe that I just can't wait to start wearing. Um, yeah, I'm just gonna get stuck right in with the first one. I just can't wait. Um, you know what? That's the sign of a good wardrobe. Leave a comment below if you agree. If you are excited by the things that you can't wait to wear, like there's things you can't wait to wear that I'm gonna show you, like for me, that is a sign that you, you got the right thing for your wardrobe. Am I right or am I right? Anyway, so let me just get stuck in with the first one. It's right in front of me, so why not? I just looked at it. Boots, that's probably like the most essential, outside of a coat, coat and boots, and then everything else comes on underneath like a pyramid, in terms of like the most, the most vital thing that you're going to wear for the winter. And for me, I know that I have wanted to just get stuck into wearing these because we already had the snow dump last week, the weekend before it snowed for the first time in New York. I stayed in. But when I do go out and it's snowing, I want to wear these. <laughs> I can't wait. I can't wait. Sorry. These knee high boots, well, slightly below the knee for me. I'm five foot seven. But these tall boots are perfect for the winter. And I cannot wait to wear them because I love the way they look. Because you know when it's winter time, you pick a boot that's going to be functional and sometimes you compromise the style for it. Sod that, I'm sorry, but you shouldn't have to compromise. If you see something that's functional and you're like, yeah, when it's snowing, I'm definitely going to be able to wear that. When it's two foot of snow, one foot of snow, I don't care, ice, arctic conditions, snow on the ground and it's ice, there is a certain boot that you probably gravitate to. For me, for looks at least, as well as function, it's these. These you see on my channel a few times now. I, there's nothing else to say. These are by, I think it's Geo Couture. I think that's what it is. And they come in different colors and I love them. I originally got them here, look. I originally got the Zara versions, these, right? Just to like, cause I love the color. And I still love these boots, which is why I still have them. Cause I still wear these. Cause I love the color of these. And these do come in this color. Plus like other colors like white and green, I think. Anyway, yeah, so I got these, but in terms of like when it starts snowing, these are way more practical than these. These are just way better made. Um, they're way more like sealed and they have like, these are all rubber down here. The whole thing, you can tell, all of that is rubber. All of that there is, and it's so, it's just such a well-made boot, and I've already worn it when it was snowing, and it looks so good, if I do say so myself. And I'll show you here, because I wore it like, um, it was like a check on check look. I wore green and red down here, and it just was such a vibe, and it just looks so good together. So this is the first thing I can't, I'll, I'm, I'll be wearing this now with leggings, because it's a tall boot, and I love that about it. I like that it's not a lace-up as well, so there's no like air, that can get in through like the laces. It's just like one tall column of leather and then you've got like, the rubber gum sole here, which is like a tractor kind of like a tread to it, which I, this is great. This, this is gonna be so good to wear. I think this is still available. Um, there was a moment where like everyone and their grandmother's daughter was wearing these, but I feel like that trend is sort of passing a little bit, which is perfect because I don't care because these are really good boots regardless of that. So um, if these are still around, I'll link them. Hopefully they should be on sale, it'll be nice, right? So if they are, I'll link, I'll link what I can find down below for you and including in different colors. But these were such a good, these were a really good buy. I've had this for about a year now. So they've already been through one winter storm and they were fantastic. And when I slipped them off, my feet were fine. In the other thing I can't wait to wear in the winter is a good hat, a good winter hat, like a really cozy, Winter hat. How many times do I want to say winter hat? So for example, fresh oh, oh thank you. Speaking you of green, oh. <laughs> you brought me a green drink. Thank you. Hat head, sorry. I just came in from outside. It's cold. 
is, it is yeah, I was just telling I was just telling oh. everyone oh. it's cold. Do you want to say hello to him? Oh yeah, this is Ruby. Where babysitting, Ruby. There we are. There you go. You can see. There, you got to look there. There you go. See, wait. You, <laughs> you gotta go. Look, Ruby. There you go. How cute she looks. Isn't she cute? <laughs> yes, she's a miniature schnauzer. Her parents have gone on. Um, they're working. They work overseas a lot, so they left Ruby with us this time. So, don't give her a sip though. <laughs> So, yeah, so this video is about, um, I'm doing a bloody video about um, the things I can't wait to wait for winter. It's like... It's cold enough out there. I know. Better bloody get this video up quick. Wait, bloody. <laughs> you don't normally see how I'm rubbing off and him saying bloody get this video up quick. Mm -hmm. Yeah, see? There you bloody go. Brits. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Mm. Whoa, I just brushed my teeth, you know how that goes. So, winter hats. I haven't even worn this one yet, as you can see, because the tag is still on. I actually got this from Paris. It's a beret in green. And there's another one that I got in this kind of, what color do you call this? Whatever it is, this color. And I love it. It's so like unusual. I got it from Buffalo Exchange. Um, I pick up a lot of my hats from like thrift and vintage shops because they're usually like the wool composition is high and why not because you can just afford to get like different versions so I got this and you already saw me wear this on my Instagram I'll show you here I wore it with my Ganny feather dress belted my coat my men's vintage coat and the baguette bag which you can't see that one <gasps> her ladies and gentlemen her anyway so I love that look together. Um, but I love wearing different, I love wearing different kind of hats anyway, in case you haven't noticed. This one's also from Buffalo Exchange, so I thrifted it. But I just love that during the winter time, who cares what your hair looks like? You can put a hat on, and that is part of the outfit. And I love that look. I love when hats are part of an outfit. They make it, they just make it. Like for example, okay, I got this one. This one I got from Ari. I think it is. This one, it's bobble knit one. I also, it also comes like a Kelly green, the exact same color as the beret I showed you. I have the same hat in that same color. So um, this is super, super warm. I love it in a snow white color. But this, you know what I'm talking about how hats look good with um, an outfit? Hold on, let me show you what I think. I would wear it with, hold on. This is gonna look so good. I'm gonna look like a snow princess. <laughs> Where the hell I get that from? That, with that, okay, they're different colors, but who cares? It's that same kind of cream kind of look. What am I doing like I'm rubbing its tummy all together? But this leads me on to the next thing that I can't wait to wear, which is a flipping good, a really good, warm, bundled up coat. But I'm just talking about just for the hat purposes, how this is a look, because I'd wear this and then I'd wear this and then, I'd probably go with, oh my God, the bag. I could see that with, let's see, cause it's all like light together. Just like, take that bit off. I wouldn't have the fuchsia on it, that part, I'll just take it off. But just that color of just something all light together. I just want that to look really good. And you could wear like, oh my God, I could wear like my white jeans. I've got white jeans. Oh, I can't lift them up now. I can't be bothered, but I've got jeans. Trust me, I've got white jeans. So I can wear white jeans with this. And it's just like this all white look with just like a neutral colored bag. I can, anyway, I'm starting to look. God, my arm is heavy. This thing weighs a ton. But I love the idea of just hats complete a look. Period. End of story. Next thing, because since I've got it in my hand, is just a really good, like I said, a really good coat. Um, I am a bit of a coat fanatic. I have a weakness for coats. I really have more than more than summer dresses and stuff like that. It's it's when it comes around to like fall and winter, I'm all over coats, coats and jackets, but really coats is my thing. But there's so many that I could include in this video, so I'm not going to do like a whole like here's my coat collection video, but. I'm just going to pick out just a couple of categories that I'm looking forward to wearing. I'll put it that way. One of them is this one is by Stan Studio and I've had it for a couple of years now. It's been through at least one winter with me and it was great to wear it because 
it's because it's white. It comes in black, and I know um, Alyssa has it as well. Hi Alyssa, if you're watching it. She has it in either black or like a dark color, and all the trim is like in white or a cream. It looks really nice, I've seen that. I'll put these all these links to all the color versions I've seen of this in the description box for you. Um, I got mine in the white on white because I just loved, I just love how it looks. Look, it's like leather. It's actually faux leather, but it looks like real leather. And there is a texture to this, but I don't know if you can see it. God, I'm doing a crap job. Just trust me, there, see? That has, sorry, my nails are crap. There is a texture to this, this coat on the leather part of it, which I really like. And then this, look at that, fully, fully lined in this fur, or faux fur, or shearling, faux shearling. Or is it real shearling? All I know is it's really warm. So I love to wear this and it's ultra long as well so it hits like my calf muscles or actually below my calf muscles and then this and you just pop the collar up look how good it looks i've even got it on and it looks good right this is amazing but look at that oh, i could pelt it that's a look oh, it looks almost like a coat dress like that anyway point is as you can see i'm pretty excited about this particular one and i also love a good puffer coat or puffer puffer bleh, or puffer jacket and i'll show you ones on the screen here that i have whether it's a puffer vest i love that look or a puffer coat as well i love how they always look and especially this is this category is only like i said for the winter i'm talking about temperatures that are like hitting around zero or just like capping off at like 30 degrees 40 degrees fahrenheit max you know when it's it's just been cold out there these are the kind of things that I cannot wait to wear. And I want you to let me know what are the pieces that you cannot wait to wear. And if you have got this far in the video, subscribe to my channel if you have not already. If you love videos that are about exactly what I am talking about, about being excited, about things you cannot wait to wear, wherever you got them from, however long you've had them, whether you just bought it last week or you've had it for like flipping 10 years, I don't care. If that's you, then you are me. So hit the subscribe button and you can just follow along because every week I'm doing videos about things that I love. I love to style, I love to play around with fashion, I love to play around with clothes and that is just my vibe. That's what I've always loved to do. Anyway, good coats, good coats. The Max Mara one, oh my God. Okay, I'm not even gonna, should I get it? I'll oh, sod it, hold on, hold on. I had to put it in, it's the Max Mara, that's what she said. Um, it's the Max Mara coat. There's no way. I got this from Paris and I've wanted, you lot know, I've told you before, I have wanted this coat for about flipping six years plus. I can't, I don't even know how long. It's been years and years and years. Eventually I caved and got it because I could get it for like almost, I think it was practically half the price in Paris than it was getting it in the US plus tax. So so glad i got it this was this is a coat that you keep for life and it is hands down the warmest thing i now officially own in my entire wardrobe it's this coat and it should be for the flipping price but oh and it's camel hair you know how i feel about camel because every time i say that word a camel appears on the screen so and it's camel hair so this was you, you and I were meant to be. Clearly we were meant to be because we know, OG subscribers, we know how significant the camel is in my videos and on my channel. So not surprised <laughs> that it is made of that and I got it. And this is, like I said, super warm. I've worn this about two to three times in New York City so far and no lie, at least six people, men too, comment when I wear this coat and give me a compliment. Um, strangers have stopped me and said, where did you get this coat from? Um, nice coat. Oh, you look so snuggly and warm in that. I'll go into a shop, the essays, a couple of them have said this to me. Oh my God, I love that coat, they'll say. It's, it's one of those that I actually didn't think that was gonna happen because this category of coat has been around for a few seasons now. Um, and there are tons of, of lookalikes and similars to them. I see them when I'm walking down the street wearing this, I see other women wearing versions of this. 
but and I even had a couple of them over the years but I ended up getting rid of them because they never were quite warm enough the wool or just the percentage of, of warmth factor was just too low for me and it wasn't doing its job and it was more uh, looks than it was function and this is highly both of those because this is about as snuggly as it gets when you put it on now the next category I'm going to tell you that I personally cannot wait to wear for this winter is and I've already started wearing it because I love it so much is this cropped sweater or jumper I call it I call this sometimes I think I need to have like a key at the at the bottom of some of my videos or something here that says when I say polo I mean turtleneck when I say jumper I mean sweater when I say trousers I mean pants you know what I mean I don't know do I need to I shouldn't need to do in fact sort that you need to know what I'm saying so <laughs> I'm ridiculous I swear I have sweaters are something and I switch between the two words by the way so I'll probably make it even more difficult these are by far the the most important thing outside of a coat and a pair of boots that you're going to want in the, in the winter time which is a good jumper and I have recently fallen in love with this cropped style from the Frankie shop and it comes in a couple of other colors too and they're amazing they're fantastic you know how I love fishermen those fishermen jumpers these I'll show you here they're always they're always here behind me by the way these I get these from vintage shops because you can they're so easy to get and they're usually a hundred percent like wool or hundred percent merino wool and they're so good and I just think they're such a this is such a classic they're such a classic jumper but sometimes I wish when I put them on that there's a look I'm going for and I wish that it could be tucked in but it's too long and it's bulky Ta -da! and this has been brilliant I didn't realize how much I was gonna wear this until I got it and I have worn it so so much it is a gorgeous neutral kind of color it's got that same kind of argyle kind of design going on it all over it which I love and it's the back and the front not just in the not just in the front only which I think is like so skimpy when they do that I hate when they do sweaters and they just put the design on the front and it's plain on the back so what the heck is that you're paying full price and you're getting half of the jumper that's how I see it this is also very very warm the neck on it stands pretty well um, and like I said it comes in two other colors it comes in like a black and a lilac and if I could get my hands on the black I will trust me because it's so warm um, and I got this in a size I think this is a size medium it's not written on here but I'm, I'm always positive it is and the reason why I love it is because it's so easy for me to wear like with my high-waisted trousers because there's so little in fact it doesn't have to tuck into anything because it's already like cropped it makes it so much easier also with like my high-waisted jeans you know a lot of us are wearing high-waisted items in general like not many of us are like doing like the whole like low thing I mean god if you're into that whole Britney 90s thing that do you but I know for me, I love this kind of vibe, generally speaking, especially in a jean as well. So I like the idea of having a jumper that's giving me the warmth and the look that I want of my vintage ones, which I still wear. I just pair them with like leggings or something and tall boots. But the fact that it's cropped makes it so much more um, functional and easier for me to wear. And I really, really love that. It's, it's, it's such a good idea. And you could also, look, I'm sure some of you watching this my channel you sew just take one of these flipping things you know what I'm gonna say right just take one of these and cut it I'm actually thinking of doing it because that inspired me because this is vintage um, I didn't pay that much for it I think I must have paid like about 15 maybe ish where I go and because it's so inexpensive what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go out and I'm gonna find one that's just another one that I'm gonna experiment with and I'm gonna cut it I mean obviously it's gonna is it gonna look good? What do you reckon? Should I do it? Tell me in the comments. I'm practicing right now in front of you just to see how would it look if I had this cropped. It kind of looked like this. I've just literally folded the back up. It kind of looked like that. Does that look good? I kind of like that. Should I do it? Comment below. Tell me what you think. But I'm thinking I'm gonna give this a, a hack. I'm not very good with sewing though, so it's just gonna be all threaded, like coming loose. But I quite like that look too because it's going to have like a raw edge and I won't mind because it was cheap 
so I can experiment and see how it comes out. I think I'm gonna, I think I'm gonna do it. Shall I do it? Tell me, tell me if you think I should do it. Michael, should I do it? Do it, do it. There you go. <laughs> So the other thing that I cannot wait to wear um, when it's cold and I've got two of them right here and it is just knit dresses a long long sleeve when I say long as in long maxi length down to your ankles or grazing just above it long sleeves just a good knit dress that is a really good quality one this is where I feel like you have to invest because it's it's literally the outfit you're not wearing a top you're not wearing a skirt you're not wearing a jean you're not wearing a top this is it it's the all-in-one thing but because of that it needs to be really warm because when it's really cold and the wind starts whipping so i have these two one is black one is cream i got them both from farfetch and they are so i got these through um a partnership that i was doing but i'm telling you these are the warmest things ever and i'm so glad that i have them they're as warm as each other but i think this one nudges this one is even warmer it's ridiculous but they are both super warm um, i know a bunch of you bought this when i first showed it about three months or so ago um, it is a polo neck long sleeved just simple plain just all the way down to my ankles it is amazingly warm it is so so good this teamed with any kind of boot you could just go with this like a whole black on black look and just wear this i could go on and on you could wear it like a camel coat you could wear it with anything anything it's a black dress for god's sakes anything it's, it's a it's the most it's a basic but it's such a warm basic if this one is, is still available i will definitely link it for you <gasps> put my obi belt <sighs> my obi belt put my obi belt with another oh god i can already tell and just oh just put the obi belt with it Anyway, you can see what I mean, the Obi belt. I'm doing this so badly, so badly. Karen, you've been doing this long enough. Well, you, can, you see the point I'm making. That, with that over it, freaking fire, fire with desire. And then I have this one, which is, if you can believe it, is even warmer. And what I like is that this is like a two four because this is actually separate. So you can wear this as a cropped jumper, just like the Frankie shop one. I keep forgetting. I so I have another one, which is this. There you go. So this can be worn all by itself. It's actually a sleeveless dress, V-neck. But I will never wear it this way. It's just I just don't. I just don't. If you notice, I never wear dresses like this, where it's like this, this kind of poxy shouldered thing. So your arms are out here. What if you don't like your arms? And it's just like all oh, shut. There, but this this i can get this i can do look how she look how chic that looks it just looks so chic so this is something i would definitely wear i think this is a hundred percent wool it is definitely it's up there with my max mara coat that is how warm this dress is it's unbelievably warm but the style of it is chic for days and then wear it with your boots ankle knee high tights underneath Put a thermal underneath it if you want to, like a Uniqlo heat tech, something very thin, so you can layer this on top because this is fairly thick. Honestly, once you've got this on and you did those layers, you don't even need a very warm coat because you're going to be very warm just wearing. I'm very warm just holding this in my flipping hand because it's so warm. But yeah, hands down, absolute must. What's the warmest thing that you can't wait to wear? If the flip No! <laughs> Yeah, because you want to be overseas somewhere. I, I get it. I get it. That's a very good... Trust him. He said flip-flops. Trust you to say that. So there isn't really anything that you you can't wait to wear for the winter. Clothing. For the winter? Yeah, for the winter. That's what this video is about. Because I showed them um, like hats that I love. I can't wait to wear when it's cold. A uh, favorite boot. Um, a certain coat. I always look forward to wearing the boots. Um, but I even kind of do it during the summer too. But <laughs> that's true. <laughs> that's because I like those boots. Those boots. You want the docks? Yeah. Oh yeah, yeah. Where are they? Are they um, up here. 
Oh, no, they're downstairs. Yeah, actually, you know what, though? The, um, who makes those boots? The ones that have the fur all over them. Sorrel. Yeah. You like the sorrel? Yeah, yeah, we have so one when each. So when it snows, I love putting yeah. those on and getting out and shoveling. Yeah. But outside of that, that's the only time I like to shovel. <laughs> oh, and another thing I can't wait to wear in the winter, Michael hates these, but I love them. God, I'm going to leave now. I already know. The Uggs. My Uggs. <laughs> I Ugly Uggs. I love wearing my Uggs. I'm sorry. I've got one pair and I've had them for about three years now. Same ones. Super warm. My God. I put my foot in and I don't have socks on. No socks on. It's unbelievable. You can wear them with no socks and they're still really warm. If it was like a fire, I had to think of like, oh my gosh, it's winter time. What do I put on? And it's, there's a fire and it's really cold. I would bang on the Max Mara coat, the Gio Couture, Couture boots. I'd put on probably... Don't forget a good scarf. This hat. Yes. Oh my God, yes. Michael just reminded me of another thing that I can't wait to wear for winter. And it is a really good scarf. <laughs> A really good scarf because a scarf is going to make or break your outfit in some cases because some sometimes I feel like the scarf is it finishes your look like there's a girl who I stopped in Paris and I'm starting to do a little bit of a series on my Instagram so if you want to check out remember I do my what is everyone is wearing in New York series like once a month on YouTube I am once a week showing one person on my Instagram every Monday I kicked off with this girl right here um, this woman so if you want to check out and see everything she's wearing the conversation that we had it was brilliant by the way um, go and check out my Instagram once a week I'm going to be posting somebody different but her scarf made her look in my opinion because it just the contrasting color the contrasting patterns I have this scarf it's by mum shade mummy shade I've had it since last year and it is super chunky look at that and super textured and I got it in this camel color. They kindly gifted it to me, which was really, really nice of them. And I love it. And I cannot wait to wear this again this winter. It's so long that you can loop it either once, but it's gonna drag on the floor. You can loop it just like that. You can do it just like that. I mean, Lenny Kravitz, eat your heart out. It's super warm and I love how thick it is and just how textured it is. And I love the color of it as well. So thank you, Michael, very good. Very good point. Cannot wait to wear this scarf. And I think scarves in general, when you find the right scarf, like I said, they really can finish off your outfit. <laughs> because just that contrasting color, or maybe it's in a different, the same color, but a different texture, right? Like a black, but you do this in black. So you've got like a black coat, because a lot of people wear black coats, right? And you have like this in black, but it's textured. So it's gonna look so good together. And then you wear red lipstick. So you've got all black, different textures, and you've got red lipstick. You're welcome. Anyway, that is it. <laughs> Give this video a thumbs up if you got some inspiration on what you are excited to wear this season, this particular winter. Leave me a comment. What is the one thing that you cannot wait in your wardrobe for the winter when it's really, really cold? Usually there's that one thing and it's gotta be something that looks cool. It's that you're excited to wear it because it can't be something that looks like crap because then you don't want to wear it, do you? But it's gotta look good plus it keeps you warm at the same time. That's the whole point of this video. So those are mine, tell me what yours are. Um, subscribe if you want to see more videos like this and do not forget, once a week, I'm doing on Instagram what everyone is wearing, but just one person every single Monday. So if you want that fix of finding someone, you can check out like a, almost like a miniaturized series on my Instagram on Mondays. Done, I'm wait, gone. Wait, I, th I thought of one more thing. And what, this video's gonna go on forever. I know. Mittens. Mittens, yes, I do love mittens. And I Did wasn't, you talk about them at all? I didn't because I am excited to wear mittens, I must admit, because right, I do look Comment good. below if you like or have mittens that you want to favor. What was it? Who says favor? Who in their right mind says, comment below if you like, have mittens that you like to favor? You like to wear. There you go. <laughs> I don't even know what the hell I'm saying. I know. See, it's not, it's not easy. When you put the camera on, all correct speech just flies out the window i'm telling you it does it really does anyway i'll see you next week friday okay because i'm doing videos once a week now every single friday if you last if you missed last week's video which is like a recap on part two of going to paris and also what i got in paris 
then have a look at that video. I'll link it as well below. Anyway, I'm done. Talk to you later. See you on Instagram between now and then. Bye.